Hey guys, this is Colby. Today I'm going to show you how to rig the base mesh to your character. And later on we'll attach the armor pieces. And then after that we'll do the weight painting. But for now we're just going to create the armature for the base mesh. And that'll be it. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do starting off is just hide all the armor pieces. Not delete them, but just hide them temporarily. So select all your armor pieces that you've created so far. In object mode, hold down shift, select all of them everything and I want to hide it here in a second just uh, select all the pieces first make sure you're selecting only the armor pieces and not the base mesh but I think that's about all the pieces so we press H to hide and now we need to hide the under armor and the helmet so now we have all the pieces hidden, and you can see in the uh, viewport up here, it's they're all closed. The eyelids are actually closed because that means they're hidden. But if you turn them back on, it'll hide it, come bring it back. So now that we have all the pieces hidden, press Shift A, press Armature, and right now it's kind of clipping through the body. That's fine. We can go to viewport display in this little box here and set it in front and that'll make it basically visible from all angles even if it's inside the base mesh and if your armature is over here somewhere you can just recenter it so press alt g and that'll reset it to the original point and then we just move it up to the waist and we'll scale it down right about there And just kind of move it to press G and then Y or whatever necessary to just make sure it's like right in the center of the base mesh around the waist area. So now that we have the first bone, this will be the starting point for the rest of the armature. So go into edit mode, press tab, or you can just press edit mode here. Now we can select the bone and edit, edit, edit its properties. So I'm going to rename it to waist. And then I'm going to extrude upward to this point and then up to the neck. So select like this point here. Press E to extrude. Move it back a little bit to kind of follow the spine. And then move it again upward. And right about th there. And this will allow for some spined movement. So that way you can bend a body a little bit and curve it. And so I'm going to rename this one. In the middle to you could say center and then this one to chest that's good so now we're going to move up to the neck and the head so select this point here press e to extrude again right about there and press e to the center of the head it doesn't have to be at the top because that'll essentially just kind of change the uh, weight painting a little bit too much just move it to the center that's fine so I would name this one head, and then this one neck. I'm going to edit the shape a little bit. So pretty much right there. So now we can move on to the arms. So I'm going to move to the shoulder. So I'm going to select this bone here because it's the closest point. And then press Shift D to duplicate. I'm going to rotate it. So that way it's basically facing this way. So R, then Y, and then 90. And right now it's kind of rolled, so we need to edit the roll a bit. So I'm going to go to Item. And transform. And set the roll a little bit, so that way it's a bit more even. So about 90 degrees. It's perfect. I'm going to go to Top View, so press 7 on your numpad. Move this to right about here. And this point over here. That'll be the shoulder piece. I'm going to rename it to your shore. So you need to actually add an extra extension to these names. Instead of just doing shoulder, we need to name it shoulder.l. And what the L means is that it's on the left side of the character. 
and later on we can use that to symmetrize across the right side without having to actually add all these bones again. We can just press symmetrize and that'll create another piece. And so you can see that this one says shoulder.r because it's on the right side. So right now we don't need to worry about the right side, just focus on the left and later on we can symmetrize everything. So we have the shoulder piece here. So now we can start adding the bicep. I'm going to actually move this down a little bit. So right about there in front view. Now we can start making the bicep. So select this point here. Press E to extrude to the elbow area. And press E to extrude to the waist, the wrist I mean. And go to top view to edit the shape a little better. Just make sure it's like right there. That looks good. And rename it. So this piece is going to be bicep.l. And this piece is going to be forearm.l. And there we go. So for the hands, we're going to extrude another piece. Just like this piece here. And move it right about there, about the center of the hand. And so for the fingers, they're going to be a little bit different. We're essentially going to do the same thing we did with the shoulder, which was duplicate this piece and then move it over here. And then rename it. That's what we're doing for the hands as well. Because each finger is going to be basically have its own little individual set of armature bones. But I'm going to rename this piece to hand.l. So I'm going to select this piece here, the whole piece, the center, and then shift D to duplicate. And I'm gonna set one for the thumb and then for the rest of the fingers as well. But for here, I'm just going to create a shape, match the uh, alignment of the thumb, wherever the points will bend. So right here, this area, that's where the thumb will bend. And this will be the fingertip. And so as you add more armatures, they might be a little bit twisted. So you can fix that by just setting the roll, and kind of setting the alignment pretty similar. So these both are like 75 degrees. And this will allow for better rotation. So I'm going to rename this to thumb.l, or thumb1, I guess. So I keep messing up the typing a little bit. And we can set this to thumb2.l. So we're going to select this piece here and this piece. Hold down shift and select both of them and duplicate. So shift D to duplicate. I'm going to rotate it. We have to rename it though as well. So I'm going to try to make it better into position. It's kind of off center root, but uh, we can fix that. And we're gonna add an extra uh, bone. Instead of just three, two points, it's gonna be three. So here, here, and here. This will be the starting point. And we're going to add a fingertip. And so I'm gonna change the roll a little bit to match the rest of the finger. So about 75 degrees. It doesn't have to be 75. Just make sure that it, they all kind of have the same alignment, the same rotation. But, and we're going to rename the pieces here. So I guess you could say index.1.l, index2.l, and index3. And so this is going to be the rest of the hands. Uh, we're going to just duplicate this piece here. Create one for the middle finger, for the ring finger, and for the pinky. But by now you should get it. It's actually pretty repetitive. Uh, each finger is basically the same. Just create an armature bone wherever the point bends on the finger. That'll be it. So I'll see you with this. I'll see you in a second when this is done. 
Okay, so here are the rest of my fingers. So I just duplicated this set here for each finger, scaled them down a little bit and rotated them and try to match the alignment of each finger. But essentially all I did was just rename them. So this one's middle three to L, middle two to L, middle one, ring one, ring two, ring three, pinky one, pinky two, pink three. And same here. So now we can start moving on to the legs. And it's gonna be a lot simpler. It's not gonna be as tedious as that was with the hands. It's gonna be a lot quicker. So let's get started. So I'm going to select the waist piece and then duplicate it and move it right here. So Shift D to duplicate. Rotate it to kind of match the uh, downwardness of the thigh. Move this point to the knee. And this point right here. Let's go to front view and side view. Just kind of edit the shape a little bit. And I'm apparent this piece to this piece. So this one, get to that one. Because uh, this this waist piece will control the whole rig and allow everything to move together. So hold down this one, shift, and then select this one as the last one. Press Control P to parent. Keep offset. And this will allow for actual parenting. Or you can go into relations on this piece here and set the parent manually by clicking on it, selecting here. So I'm going to rename this one to thigh.l. And there we go. I'm going to select this point here. Press E to extrude downwards to the ankle area. So right about there. Name it shin.l. And I'm going to do two more bones. So press E to extrude right about there. So that's where the, the uh, toes will bend. And then I'm going to extrude again. I'm going to name this one foot.l and then last one toe.l and edit the shape a little bit so go to other views make sure it follows the uh, alignment of the foot and there we go so now we're almost done but we need to do the last step, which is to symmetrize everything. So hold down A, press A, and right click, and then press symmetrize. Once you're in edit mode on the uh, on the armature, and that'll symmetrize everything. So everything that's on this side that was named .l is now .r on this side. So that's a quick way to symmetrize everything without having to manually do all those things over again. So that's it. So now that the rig is symmetrized, I need to reset the parents of these shoulders to this piece here. So one out shift on both of them and set it's like this middle one as the last piece. Just control P to parent and keep offset. And so go back into object mode. And select the base mesh and then the armature. Let's control P to set parent with automatic weights. And now we can start animating the character. But right now it's still unoptimized since there's no inverse kinematics and everything's just a lot slower. But as you can see, the, ar the armature still works. We just need to optimize it a little bit. So I'll show you how to do that next time. But for now, that's the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer them. And if you could please like and subscribe, it would really help out my channel a bunch right now. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.